So hello to all the viewers. So with me, I have the man of the moment. Just a few hours, the NEAT SS results have been announced. And probably the person the country wants to listen right now at around, say, 10 o'clock here, 10.30 here. So uh, Dr. Anuj, hearty congratulations, rank one in the first ever NEAT SS medical group entrance exam. So how are you feeling right now? Thank you so much, sir. Actually, the feeling is surreal, sir. I cannot even, not even believing it right now. So it's, I'm, so, I'm myself in disbelief. Okay, all right. But you have to believe you are rank number one. So Anuj, just uh, tell the viewers a bit about yourself. Where are you from? Where did you do your MBBS and MD from? Uh, sir, I hail from Nanded, Maharashtra, sir. I did my graduation from St. G.S. Medical College in KM Hospital, Mumbai. And then I did my post-graduation uh, from Molan Azad Medical College, Delhi, sir. And mm -hmm. I passed out in uh, this year's uh, June, sir. Uh, May 2022, sir. All right. So uh, such a tremendous achievement. So what was that first feeling on looking at that rank? Did you cross-check your results multiple yeah. times? Yeah, I had to send it to some of my friends, sir, to just cross-check. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So... I know that you actually narrowly missed the INI just by one seat. So you were targeting for endocrinology, right? Yes, sir. So were you a bit disappointed just having missed INI by a seat? Actually, I had not prepared so well for my INIs. Uh, it, the INI paper was in April and I had my MD theory paper during that time itself. So I could not read that much uh, for endocrinology at that time, but I was happy with my rank then with my preparation okay. and I think it was for the better that I missed it by one rank so I could all give right. this paper. Good, good. Now uh, Anuj, definitely the viewers who are listening to you would want to know from you about the question pattern of the medical group because uh, as you know this is the first ever medical group exam. There were a lot of uncertainties hovering around this exam uh, it's a new pattern, 150 questions from medicine. And uh, the previous exam was mostly clinical oriented. But this is again a different pattern. So first of all, please tell the viewers in a summary of how was the exam pattern of NEETSS medical group. Okay, sir, uh, I'd like to start off by saying that the paper was majoritarily factual. Uh, the weightage given to individual subjects was uh, okay, it was not like when a, a, a branch was given more uh, weightage or something. There, there was equitable distribution among the branches. Uh, some clinical questions were there which were good, but they were numbered quite a few. And uh, some ex unexpected uh, sections were asked, like from medical genetics, which we are not expecting a lot of questions, but they were asked. And uh, some branches were left out, like oncolo from medical oncology, I don't think I remember any question. There was one question on hepatocellular carcinoma, but that could also be counted from gastroenterology. So as such from oncology, I did not, I don't remember any question, but majoritarily I would say it was factual and based uh, more on one-liners. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, how many attempts did you make in the exam out of 150? So I had attempted all the questions. All the questions. So see immediately on finishing the exam, what was that feeling? Did you feel that you have done well? Uh, sir, actually, it was not a good feeling because many of the questions, uh, like those factual questions are like the options confuse you during the exams. See, 100 to 100 questions, 110 questions were uh, on the easier side that everyone could get. So okay. those questions would not differentiate you. The rest of these 20, 30 questions, which were on the factual side, more on the unexplored part of medicine side, these questions were more based on hunches. And what you had read previously in NEET PG or the basics like genetics and all. So those were like from your long-term memory and uh, you're not sure about the answer. So after giving the exams, I had actually no idea how I did. Okay. And uh, all right. That's what... But uh, how was your mindset during the preparation? Because for an exam with no definite precedent in terms of the pattern, uh, how did you prepare your yourself? Uh, were you focusing more on clinical questions, factual questions, reading more of theory, practicing MCQs. So how was the preparation? Uh, sir, I 
the new pattern new pattern was based on md exit level so uh, the go to would be harrisons i would say and that was that is what i kept in mind and started reading harrisons right from the get go when the uh, new pattern was announced okay so i think that helped me a lot and the only thing that i needed with it was an mcq based q bank support because just reading harrisons would not give you your uh, review of what you have studied and how much you retain so i needed a, a source of solving mcqs and that's why i had taken uh, doc tutorials sir at that time okay so you have practiced the questions from doc tutorials q bank as well yeah. so yeah. how were the questions in the doc tutorials q bank and how did it actually help you match with harrison like maybe going retrospectively just revising the points how did it help you uh, so the questions were good they were actually graded there were easy questions there were medium questions there were difficult questions and there were uh, lengthy typical uh, clinical questions also which were also difficult on the difficult side so it it actually helped me the easy questions were a bit uh, they were on the okay side but i would say the difficult questions were the one which made the difference they actually helped me go back again and see why where i missed the Uh, the syllabus which i missed or the portion i was weak on yeah. that made me go back and read that stuff again because you know even while uh, we were putting the questions in the q bank see as you would know uh, super specialty entrance exam is always uh, an unpredictable question pattern because nobody can definitely say okay this is likely to be a strongly clinical oriented or a strongly factual so did you have a sufficient range anuj because uh, were you ready for the factuals and the clinicals because many candidates actually told me after the exam sir you know i was preparing slightly more clinical i did not expect factuals so what was your preparation were you ready for both uh, sir i would say my md clearing this year would have played a major role because the clinical part was managed by that thing i had recently read medicine i had given my practical exams i had given my theory papers and i had i was fresh out of the course so i think the clinical part was a bit settled over there and I, the more the, i focused more on the factual part in the end stages because that was what i thought would make the difference in the end and fortunately the paper turned out to be that way and that's what made the difference i think all right now suppose anuj definitely i'm sure there is one question each and every one of your juniors or whoever is wanting to write the medical group is definitely going to ask you the question will be are all questions from harrison can we rely on harrison alone so what advice will you give them uh, about harrison and about the questions what percentage would you say is from harrison directly or indirectly so i would say around uh, 80 to 85% questions were directly from harrisons okay uh, leaving the genetics parts uh, part and uh, i think for example if 150 questions were divided in 10 sections 15 10 to 15 questions per section so i would say around 90% 80 to 90% were directly from harrisons the rest of the questions you could say were out of the harrisons but i think those are not the questions which differentiate you from others because those are the questions which mostly everyone will get wrong okay the you will start losing ranks when you get the easy questions wrong or the questions which everyone will get right if you get those wrong then you will start losing ranks more quickly so focusing more on harrisons first would be the target and then if you are matlab if you are sure that you have covered most of the harrisons and you have revised it well then you can go towards the unexplored part a bit and i think you um, did a very important step practicing maximum multiple choice questions so how do you think you know that is important because many a times i have noticed candidates who have done well in their md they have done their theory exams well but since there is a gap of uh, a few years you know they are not used to the mcq setup sometimes they commit a lot of mistakes and that match practice is not there as you can call it so how important i know just solving mcqs during this preparation phase definitely it's very important because uh, for three years would be out of touch of matlab for those who are appearing directly from those md exams you have been not been exposed to any mcqs for the past three years so it's definitely uh, game changer for practicing mcqs you even if you know stuff you would get them wrong if you had not practiced them and i think that's what happened i gave many i gave many grand tests one of those was yours in on doctor trails as well which was around two weeks before the neat ss so i had gotten a rank of 40 at, at that in that stage and i realized that i had made a lot of silly mistakes and many questions i could have gotten right just i would if i would be in a right state of mind at that time Okay. so it's definitely important to practice mcqs 
but still you know near to a big exam getting a reasonably good rank 40 because i'm sure good number of students actually take the doc tutorial six exams as well but still even when you made a few silly mistakes and you still realized okay i'm in 40 yeah. so if i could avoid these silly mistakes did you feel yeah. that okay i still can be in the right. top yeah it actually shows your potential what you can do if you practice mcqs some questions are there which you know that you you don't know but some questions are there which you know that if i had given this same paper on a, on another day you would have gotten this many questions more right and that's what you aim for that that one day should be your exam day all right and anuj uh, some of uh, the upcoming new batch candidates they have messaged me uh, in this current medical group exam was there specific weightage to any other any particular super specialties like neurology cardiology endocrinology so after having given the exam if you take all the sub specialties of medicine what do you think you know how is the relative weightage to the individual sub subject specialties which had more weightage i think it was relatively equitable uh, i but uh, i think the some questions from i think the endocrine section were a bit odd uh, you are we are expected to ask uh, questions are expected from thyroid pituitary or uh, adrenal or so but most many questions were asked from those unexplored territories like reproductive system contraception and uh, posterior pituitary and those water deprivation tests which which we don't really go in deep into and those were some sections which were uh, sort of unpredictable i would say okay. but, uh, but rest, uh, i would say it was fairly equitable except the oncology part and the addition of the genetics part okay all right as you rightly said genetics was a surprise element and uh, we had more than expected number of questions from genetics and uh, maybe syndromes as well and uh, even i think the in terms of number what i have noticed is neurology cardiology had a slightly more number of questions yes definitely there was an equitable distribution and uh, what i noticed was say if you take one uh, subject like neurology there was an even distribution of uh, questions like question from seizures the headache topic uh so there were a representation okay. from every topic but some of the questions were very simple maybe a uh, not even neat pg level you agree with that anuj some were very definitely. very simple definitely so, sir there were some questions which were very easy sir yeah because sometimes what happens is when you prepare for the ss exam some candidates feel okay we should learn only the high end stuff so what do you think you know were there a good number of questions which were relatively very easy Yes, sir. They were fair. I like I told before, sir. Hundred, one ten questions. I would say, I were so easy that if even if we are not prepared seriously, would get them right. Uh, All but right. getting those good. questions wrong would be the deal breaker, yeah. I think. Because uh, uh, you know, really I was right. conducting uh, some of the talks uh, before the exam. I always used to mention that I still remember in my super specialty entrance exams. some of the questions they were very very simple like a diabetes patient swelling of the limb redness a simple case of cellulitis so what happens is that you know since you are at a post md level sometimes you might be suspicious do they really ask such questions and you might make careless mistakes in that also okay and anuj if you can just quickly uh, tell us uh, is there some very important areas that you are thinking of like if you took at the paper Uh, was there any specific area from where you know uh, you focused or maybe questions came anything of that sort for your juniors or was it more or less equitable i don't think sir there was any area which that focused on as such and seeing this unpredictable pattern i would not suggest anyone to just focus on something you should yeah. be prepared for age and everything absolutely so try to start early and try to cover as much as possible and if you have started early you can even go into those unexplored and the difficult territories absolutely right because that is exactly what i want to tell all the juniors because uh, immediately after the exam all the uh, next year aspirants they message me sir how is the question how should we prepare i said you know this is the question pattern we have done the recall sessions all the recall sessions are available in the doc tutorials youtube channel so if anybody listening to this wants to have a look at the questions we have done the exhaustive explanations everything in the doc tutorials youtube channel and a more detailed version of the explanation we will be doing it in the app as well so just uh, everyone can go through that and um, you know uh, how is everyone at home feeling i can see in the background uh, you know it should be your brother so uh, just tell us about your family 
Yeah, they are also elated. Yeah, but, <laughs> everyone I, is in disbelief actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you said your parents, uh, you know, are they are they at home? No, no, actually they are not at home. They are out of station right now. So they did not get to know the result for two to three hours. They, are, they just came to know it uh, an hour ago or so. So who was that in that photo? Like, uh, do you have an elder brother or younger brother? An elder brother. The elder brother. So he must be very happy. Where is he working? Uh, he is currently here only. He is actually an uh, intervention radiologist, sir. He is set up. He has just come here. He just finished his fellowship in the intervention course. Okay, okay. So I'm sure he must be taking endocrinology. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. So so proud of you, Dr. Anuj. So if I summarize for all the viewers. the messages from rank 1 i think his basic source of preparation was harrison so i think he strongly suggest everyone to go through harrison rank 1 says 80 to 85 percentage of questions were almost from harrison and uh, he says that it's very important to practice mcqs and he has done uh, the doctor tutorials question bank also for uh, the exam practice as well so do not forget to practice mcqs and he specifically makes a mention of having a good range while you prepare for ec medium and tough topics and especially practice grand tests so that you are getting an idea on what your strength and weaknesses is if you are making silly mistakes how to cover that up and uh, that's it he says relatively uh, an equitable distribution of topics were there and he strongly wants uh, all of you preparing for the upcoming exam do not trust the you know the exam pattern yes this is the pattern of this year you just have a follow of that particular pattern but please you know uh, prepare for a good range of questions okay so these are the messages from the country's uh, rank 1 in the neat ss medical group so uh, all the viewers those who are preparing for the subsequent exams as well uh, if you have any doubts related to your preparation you are free to contact us the faculties are very much ready to help you and um, also the team of toppers who have done well they will also be there in our whatsapp groups to guide you and any time you can whatsapp me as well uh, regarding your preparation related queries my whatsapp number is 9447334944 so just uh, whatsapp me as well if you have any queries related to your preparation but i think you know it's very important to start early because anuj told that you've got to have a good range so he advises you to start your preparation early so that you get time to revise as well okay so hats off to you uh, anuj for rank 1 once again and uh, i'm sure your parents once they uh, come to know about the results very soon uh, they will be very much elated so it's party time and uh, thank you so much uh, anuj for joining bye bye thank you bye okay